I really want to get boat chips, the gray boat, ready for my next trip to town. Uh, might not be the next one, but pretty soon. Because uh, I'm on my way home from town right now, and I have bolts. If you can see them down there, 3,500 bolts. So if you're ever wondering what I'm doing with the money people send me, well, various things obviously, but sometimes I scour Craigslist and find deals. And this guy had 3,500 half inch, I don't know, two inch long stainless bolts for like $200, 250 I don't know. They were way cheaper than normal. So I was like, I'll take them all. Cause you know, I gotta, I gotta use my dollars wisely, stretch them as far as I can. And I'll definitely use stainless steel bolts. Anyway, 3,500 of those bolts kind of weighs a lot. And I was, I was lucky because there was a lady who drove me with the bolts to my boat, which was great. I, I had a little cart, I was gonna walk them, but she was like, hey, it's great, let me give you a ride. Oh, that was so nice. Um, but yeah, then I got in my boat. It's a little overloaded. I don't know if you can see the front. Uh, I don't like it being down that low. But uh, as I was driving away from town, anytime I'm near town with this boat, Everyone always has to come and look at it because they're like, ooh, look at that interesting pedally boat. And then they drive up in their motorboats and <laughs> make all these waves that splash in because, like, I'm loaded down pretty heavy right now. The waves get in. So I'm bailing out like crazy. And I'm like, yay, thanks, okay, go away, people, F-O. Uh, anyway, I just got into a, a little protected spot here surrounded by mangroves. Once I got past the, uh, you know, the gawkers waves, things significantly improved. There's still a little bit of waves getting into the boat just because I'm low and it's, it's kind of wave yet. So uh, I'm going to try to weave through little mangrove islands on the way home. I'm still pretty far from home. So yeah, I got to remember, Jamie, get the gray boat done. Boat chips. And make sure that waves can go right over it and they don't go in it. Kind of like the way it is right now. So don't don't cut open those pontoons too much. Okay, I better get moving. I have a little bit of sun right now. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Man, my camera's all fogged up. Everything is so you know, great. Here comes the boat. Hopefully they don't slow down and make a big wave. Just zoom right past the guy. Good, little wave. Can handle that, no problem. Alright, these little bitty waves I can handle, no problem. I'm pretty sure I can stay in an area where it's like this most of the way home. There's one spot where I'll have to go kind of across an open channel for maybe a mile. I'll be exposed. But, uh, I think I'll be fine. No, I'm not jettisoning the cargo. It's got to come home. Me treasure. Oh, I also got some tools. I do have plenty of time to get home. I think I left town at noon because I uh, I left at 4 a.m. Knowing it might take a while to get all these stupid bolts to my boat. And then uh, the weather also said later in the day it was going to get kind of terrible. So it's still pretty early. So... Uh, I'm just going to kind of cruise at a medium pace until I get to that rough section and try to blow right through it fast. Woo! Bag of chips. I should eat a snack. I'll save my snack. Although, I should probably eat a snack while I've got calm water. If I get back in the rough water, I'm going to be bailing too much to eat a snack. Home is that away, but I'm going this away. Because even just going for this stretch between mangrove chunks, you know, the waves are getting a little choppier. They're not coming in the boat yet. But if I go out there, they will be. So we're gonna sneak.
decal between these mangroves where they'll block the wave. Besides the bolts, I got another thing on Craigslist, which is under that sheet of plastic in there. It's a bucket full of tools. Because my daughter, my oldest daughter, is always borrowing my tools and asking me for stuff. So I was like, you want me to just get you a bunch of tools? So I just bought a bunch of tools for 25 bucks. And there's actually a couple in there that I want. One is one of those like egg beater hand drills. You know those ones? Not that this one. This one. Because I have some of this one. I just don't have any of this one for little drills. There's, there are two of them in there, so I'm going to give one to her and I'm going to keep them. And there's a couple other things in there I want. things in the water up ahead. Too far for the camera to see it, I'm sure. But I, I think it's a flotilla of kayaks. I'm gonna try to catch up so I can see what it is. Because it's weird just to see a bunch of red things in the water. But I can see them pretty far away. Yep, flotilla of kayaks. Wow, well, it's kind of fun. Oh, I forgot. I was going to get some close-up video of the flotilla of kayaks. But I stopped and talked to them for a while and I forgot about the camera. Oh, sorry. Huh. Looked like they were having fun. Oh, box disintegration. I can't believe how many bolts I just got. I'm not going to need these kind of bolts for a while. I use these a lot. These are what I used to build the uh, the bulldozer. Same bolts. Um, but I have way more now. Someone must have just had like massive amounts of these and just wanted to get rid of them. Sold them on Craigslist. I paid like seven cents a piece. They're brand new looking. They are brand new. Oh, and they're stainless, of course. It looks like it's pretty good stainless because some of these were sitting in salt water because, you know, I got water in the boat. So they've been in salt water for the last couple hours. Well, they've been in there for a couple hours. Like partly submerged and partly out, and none of them have any rust on them. Well, really, I'll have to see what they look like tomorrow. What'd you get? Raisins. Wow, oh, raisins, nice. So when are you going to grow your two front teeth back? Oh, I am excited about this and this. Oh, now this is cool. On this saw. Solid metal case. Why is there a knob on this saw? This is an awesome kid yeah, drill. Hey, I think it's low power no, too. It's not for you, it's for you. Yeah, it's less than two amps. Oh man, that is awesome. I want that one. Or this is like the best drill that you could get. I can't get him like that anymore. That is that guy getting a hammer? Dude, when do you have a little hammer? When he gets older, he can have that one. But yeah? No, I can't. Yeah, you're already using full size hammer, right? Eh? Yeah, but that one I can use for little now. Alright, you be careful with that stuff, dude. Because it'll be easier to pry. Wait, wait, Bellatrix, what is that thing? It's, I want it to be a prior. A prior? Yeah, to like to, pry to... things apart. Oh. That's God, it's a pipe bender. Yes! Man, that was 25 bucks well spent. Yeah. Oh, and the mama got her shears? Are you gonna you're gonna let it, You're gonna let letting mama have these, Aura? Yeah. Cool, she's gonna be happy about that. Jay, can I have these? Jay, I, I am like, gonna have this. Look, you have this drill. See? Yeah, Bells, you can have that one. I definitely want that one. Why? Because I, I really want one of these. I've wanted one of these for a while. 
and they're not easy to find anymore. I mean, and if you find them, they're cheap junk. Oh, we got like, we got old tools. I got one old too. tools are the best. These all have metal casings, and this too. Yeah, that's a really good drill it's, it's too. It's got such a pretty handle. You just gotta clean it up a little bit, oil it. Oh man, good it's stuff. It's looking fine though. Yeah, but it's a little bit sticky. If we oil it a little bit, it'll run really smooth. And the chuck works really nice. I already checked what? it. The chuck is the part the drill bits fit in. It works really well. I just checked the uh, drill and the sander. Totally work. Those things have to be like 60, 70 years old. Man, you just can't get stuff like that today. The old tools from before planned obsolescence became a big thing. And the funny thing is, like, seeing like a 70 year old tool that works perfectly, it just removes any excuse from the engineers, manufacturers, whatever of today. There's, there's no excuse. We should be able to make things that last. But no, everyone's going around making money because if you make garbage, yeah, anyway. Just imagine if we stayed on that track of making things to last. Man, imagine how good things would be today. Whew. All right, I'm just running on adrenaline now. So I better get a shower and eat some food because when I stop moving, I am going to pass out. Hold on a second. It's movie night. Oh, then I'm not going to pass though. I'm going to go watch Star Trek with my kids. Ah, oh, great.